I'm wearing a mask because you guys have a virus. Oh, what's that? Oh, a, a pokey virus. Oh, well, that's not so bad. My name is Philly Beats You. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about pokey viruses, how to get them, what it does, how to keep it. Or if you don't want to keep it, you can get rid of it. But it's not a bad thing. It's, it's actually a really good thing. Let's roll the intro. So this morning, my friend Anissa messaged me that she got a Galarian Ponyta with a Pokeris while she was streaming on Twitch. Luckily for her, one of her chat members noticed it and told her, and therefore she was able to start spreading her Pokeris through our inventory. Okay, Twitter's acting up, but it's a Ponyta over here. And then she posted the, a picture of the Rapidash fully evolved and when she noticed it on stream. So I hit her up and I asked her, hey, can you send me one to myself? And we did a little trade in the morning. I sent her Surfetch and she sent me over a Pokeris not to. As a Pokerus is extremely rare, it is a 1 in 21,000 chance and full odds shiny hunting is 1 in 4,000 chance of happening. So getting a Pokerus Pokemon is absolutely super rare. So what do you do with the Pokerus? Well, once you get the Pokerus, the first thing that you need to do is put it in your party. And then once you have it in your party, you're going to go out and battle a couple of times. Uh, once you do that, the Pokemon that it is in the party with will start to contract the actual virus, which is a good thing. The virus can wear off in about one to four days. You want to be aware of that. The only way to keep the virus active is to take the Pokemon from your party and put them back into your PC box in order to keep the active virus there. Now, something interesting that is going on going on in Pokemon after Diamond and Pearl is that once a Pokemon does have the Pokeverse and it leaves them and they no longer have it, they can still level up a lot faster with their EVs. It gives a boost in the effort value points that they receive. So you want to keep that in mind when you do that. So after doing a couple of battles, I now have an evolved Natu into a Zatu. And as you can see, when I'm going through some of my Pokemon, you can see three of them that actually have gotten the Pokeris. Uh, you can see Colossal, who's also got it, and Rapidash, who's also got it. So now I'm spreading the virus across all of my Pokemon. And the best thing to do is get a fresh new Pokemon from an egg or catch a Pokemon in the wild who hasn't been leveled up or tampered with or has battled any other Pokemon. Get the Pokeris on them and go for the specific stat in battling certain Pokemon that you want to aka EV training, which I will also be doing a video on. So the question you guys are probably asking is, Billy, how do I get the Pokey virus? Because I want it. Well, I have a simple answer for you guys. All you guys got to do is go down in the description below and click on the Discord link and head over to the Philly B2 Discord. And I'll be dropping Pokemon codes here soon that we can do some trading. I'm going to be dropping the Pokey risk and infecting this Discord server completely with Pokemon. So all you guys that are on here will be have a chance of getting Pokemon that have the virus and then you guys can spread it to the other people that have the virus and it can go on so forth to every single person. Just want to say that we also have max raid battles and breeding requests and friend codes and other fun stuff in the Discord server. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, join that Discord so you can get the Pokerus Pokemon because I don't know. You might be the first one to grab it when I drop it in the Discord. And I will see you guys in the next video. My name is Philly Beats You. Thanks for watching. Peace.